for humanities class, we read a book called Ishmael. In Ishmael, they talked about an airman analogy. In this analogy, there was an airman, and he had just built an aircraft to try to fly. The aircraft didn't follow the laws of aerodynamics, so it wouldn't fly. But the airman didn't know that. So one day, he flew the aircraft off the cliff and started to pedal. As he pedaled, he thought that it was working, and that he was flying. The truth was, he wasn't flying, and it would never fly because he didn't follow the laws of aerodynamics. Because the cliff was up so high, he didn't know he was falling and at an accelerating rate. As he fell, he started to notice that he was slowly falling down. Well, he said, if I start falling harder, I might start going up again. But because his aircraft didn't follow the laws of aerodynamics, it would never go up. No matter how hard he pedaled, he would still be falling because the aircraft wasn't made properly. There could have been the strength of 10,000 men, and the aircraft still wouldn't have flew. Only a few hundred feet from the ground did he notice that he was falling. By then, it was too late to do anything, and he died. This analogy relates to our civilization, because the aircraft just wasn't built for flying, so it would never fly. Just like the way we're living right now, we're not following the laws of life, so no matter how hard we try, our civilization will not last. We waste too much resources, and what we do is not productive. 35% to 40% of the waste in landfill are paper products, and it can still be recycled. We cannot base our lives on trial and error and ignore the laws of life, because that can be disastrous and lead to the end of the civilization. If we keep on doing this and not notice what we're doing, we might not survive long, because we're closer to the ground than we think we are. Just like the airman's falling, we're doing this at an accelerating rate. We think that if we keep on going, we'll find a solution, but what we should be doing is turning around and fixing what we did. We don't know that we're falling yet because we have almost endless resources, just like the high cliff. But we're using it all up too fast for it to regenerate. Like the airman fa falling down the cliff, we think we're flying and doing fine because we have so much resources. We don't know how much we've depleted them. When he finally notices he's falling, he's already too close to the ground and so it's too late to do anything. This can happen to us because we think we have infinite resources and we're fine because we're up too high to know that we're falling. I think our civilization will not be able to suddenly change back to aboriginals and reverse, or even stop the damage being done to the world. But what we can do is glide to have a smooth landing. We can raise awareness and get people to recycle and not make a big carbon footprint. This is the only way we will be able to preserve this world us and ourselves. So I challenge you to recycle plastic bottles because every year in America, 38 million plastic bottles only from water go to the dump when it can be recycled.